same Don't make it complicated So baby do you dare Don't Hey awesomes, welcome back to my channel Adam's Apple And if it's your first time guys Please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video or a new vlog. And if you have been subscribed to me already, thank you so much for uh, dropping by and also for watching this video. Anyway, as you can see in the title, this will basically be about how to answer job interview questions. I got the idea for this video because one of my friends, uh, I think it was like two weeks ago or maybe three weeks ago, she messaged me at Facebook basically asking me uh, on some advices because she is transferring to another company. So pretty much she's like uh, asking me on tips or advice questions, uh, common questions, or how would I answer to job interview questions. So, and of course, I was uh, able to help her with that as well. So just to, you know, to clear the air or just a little bit of a disclaimer, I am not a hiring manager. Uh, basically, I am just, you know, maybe one of you guys, you know, I have been interviewed with a couple of companies and fortunately, I was hired by all of them uh, pretty much in the call center industry so first question uh, the very common question is that the tell me about something about yourself tell me something about yourself so I think you are very familiar with that question and what I would really normally answer is that I would say something like related to my work history now, believe it or not, they are not asking about your personal life. So it's best to veer away from that, uh, from answering, on a, you know, on that route. You would need to answer work-related stuff. Basically, they are asking on reasons why you would be fit for the job. So, you can say something like, I am a very passionate person. In fact, on my previous company, you would say something like this and that. So don't tell them about your personal history. They are interested about your work history. They wanna know why you will be perfect for the role or for the job that you are applying for. Right? That makes sense. <laughs> okay. And also guys, I would really like to uh, stress out the importance of research. And what I mean with that is that you need to research on the position or on the job that you're applying for. Go to the company's website, uh, check what their values are, their vision, their mission is, and try to answer the questions that could be related to their vision or mission or the values that these companies or the company that you're applying for really value. value. So you have to do your research guys because of course you know like everyone else if you are going to a battle or if you're going to a war or just you know preparing something uh over preparedness it's you know it's not a bad thing it could be a good thing the worst that that you can do is that you you know nothing about that company so you have to do your research first go to the website so you know that's basically simple right <laughs> Do not oversell yourself. Don't sugarcoat things. Do not tell them that you know how to do this stuff or that stuff when you actually don't. That's the worst thing you can do because when you get hired, then the employer will actually be expecting you to do this stuff. Am I making sense? So say something like, uh, no, sorry, I don't know how to do this or I have no experience with that. However, I am willing to be trained or I am very much trainable or something like that. Just make sure you end each statement in a positive note. So, like I said, you have to be genuine. So don't tell a lie. It's, you know, just, just be real. That's the best that you can do. And uh, when you are actually talking, when you're talking about white lies or when you're overselling yourself or your skills, tell, uh, I have to tell you that 
the hiring managers would actually know it, know it. You know, they'd be able to detect that because they have been trained to do that. Or, you know, they have, they have been, I think most of them are psychology majors. They know when the people they are interviewing is actually lying or not. So if you don't know how to do this, don't be afraid to tell that you don't know how to do it. Just tell them that even though I don't know how to do this type of skill, then you are willing to be trained. You are very highly moldable as a person. So that it will have like a positive uh, ending to your not so positive answer. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay. And also guys, it helps if you say something like, when I get hired. Uh, because normally we would say, we would answer like, if I get hired, then I would do this and blah, 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 and stuff like that. Try uh, replacing the word if with the word when. When I get hired or when I am fortunate enough to have this position or this job. You know, so that it will have be more, it will have a more positive um, ending no, not really ending, but a positive beginning to your statement. You know, just be confident. Try to uh, adapt to what the pace of your interviewer is. If, for example, if your interviewer is talking at a slow pace, then try to match with that pace as well. The worst thing that can happen is that your interviewer is actually talking at a moderate or fast pace than you are like, this that you know what i mean right so you have to adjust you have to adapt to the pace that of the of the flow of the conversation so that it'll, it'll be more natural now i know guys it's better you know it's easier said than done but you need to do this all you know all of this stuff just relax do your research and be natural and be honest be genuine with your answers because like I said, at the end of the day, when you are telling a liar, if you are overselling your skills or your talents or your experiences, then you, it, you will just suffer in the end. Both of you will suffer, actually. And I'm talking about your employer, your team, and yourself. So that you'll be hired, you know, just be natural. The worst thing that can happen is that you won't get hired. Then, of course, life goes on. Life goes on and then you go to another company. Maybe it was not meant for you. So, you know, God has a plan for, you know, for each and every one of us. So just be, just be real and, you know, everything will turn out for the better. All right? Okay. <laughs> Chances are the interviewer will ask you if, do you have any questions for me? Don't be afraid to ask, when can I start? Or when shall i get an update uh, with this interview so just try to maybe joke around poke a little joke here and there but like i said you have to test the waters you have to make sure that the interviewer is you know is sort of really comfortable with you already so there you go guys sorry about the noise outside so i hope that you have learned something about this video if you haven't, then, you know, let me know in the comment section below. If you have, I hope you do. Well, you know, I'll see you at the top. Now, always remember that the only way to get to the top is from the bottom. And what I mean is that is that you, we need to work from the bottom up so that you'll be hired, you guys. Okay, bye. And just keep your answers short and simple. Kiss. Keep it short and simple because sometimes more words can lead to more mistakes, guys. And of course, don't forget to just keep it real. You know, be genuine and honest with your answers. You can never go wrong with that. And good luck with your uh, job interview. All right. Thanks. You know, thank you for watching. Bye.